Hello you guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. I just uploaded my weekly vlog, which was like ending off the year and New Year's and then Winter Classic. If you saw that video, it was my last vlog. And I'm starting off my first vlog of 2023 and I'm super excited because I just want to talk about like goals and planning for the new year. I'm about to hop on a call with my manager. We have like a strategy planning call for the new year and I'm so excited. And I kind of touched upon it in my last video, but if you didn't see it, I started planning like my goals and just stuff that I want to work on in the new year. And I have personal goals, I have work goals, I have like health goals. I just have so much. So I'm excited to kind of talk about that in this video and maybe this will hopefully inspire you. Also, it's not too late to have goals for yourself. I think that you don't have to do it on January 31st or <laughs> on December 31st. And I think that it's okay to like take the whole month of January to like think about what you want for the year ahead like i just don't think that if you didn't do it by new year's eve like you don't have any time i think that there's still time there's always time and also just like not be so strict on yourself with like the timeline and all that i just like to have goals for the new year because i feel like it gives me some sort of like structure and i know things that i want to work towards also i love looking back on my year like once the year's over and just seeing like what actually came to fruition and stuff anyway that's what's up i'm gonna hop on this call and raylan and i are gonna go over literally everything and i'm super excited and then we'll talk about some stuff after i'm done you could probably just start posting and then we can get you an assistant yay i'm excited i feel like it'll like, um, be so helpful guys we're gonna do something a little bit different in this haul well i have a, a try on haul right now that i'm gonna show you guys i just unboxed my order that i got from princess polly and i'm really excited and usually i do like a dedicated haul for princess polly on my channel but we are integrating it into a vlog i know that you guys really like integrated hauls rather than like a dedicated video so I heard your guys' feedback and we have a little try on haul. I'm just going to show you guys the pieces that I got and I will link them all down below. I have a discount code which I will put here on the screen. It gets you 20% off of your whole entire order and there's free shipping on orders over $50 to all US customers and Princess Polly also offers afterpay, shop pay. They have the cutest pieces and make sure to use my 20% off code so you can get a discount if you like any of the stuff that I show. So this is the first piece this jacket they have really really great leather jackets i have another oversized black one and i get so many questions all the time about where it's from and it's from princess polly this one's just brown love it this is like a really nice staple can go with so many different things in the last jacket i showed you guys i got in a size six and this one is a size six as well okay i probably could have gone up a size in this Actually, I like the way that it fits. It's like very fitted. I could have gone up one size, but it's super cute. Just like a little leather moto jacket. Love the detailing and I love how it's fitted because I own so many. Wait, I need to close this. And I just love, why is the lighting so weird? Hold on you guys. And I just love how it fits, so cute. Love the gold detailing, and I've been loving like this style jacket. I think it looks super cute with like a pair of light wash jeans. Obsessed. Okay, another jacket. This is so cute. I got this in a size six as well. Love the fit of this, and I love the length. I'm gonna stand on my thing and show you guys. It's like perfect length, almost goes down to just like right above your ankle, and it is a pinstripe navy blue trench i'm obsessed with this i can't wait to style this it would look cute with like some cargos i'm thinking like a khaki colored cargo with like a white top underneath some sneakers love like a long coat like this i feel like they just really like make your outfit okay this sweater you guys is so cute it's actually so soft also it's a size small medium i love the fit of it i just love how it's like a little bit cropped and not super tight to your arms so cute with some jeans boots 
just like actually also throwing over your workout clothes heading to a workout love the color also because it's not like it's like a warm gray okay you guys this skirt is slay i'm obsessed with this um this is like a khaki okay i also need a tan because i feel like actually i don't need a tan i feel like i look cute <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna stand up again on my little bench to show you guys the back of the skirt it has a slit i got this in a size four it's so cute it fits so well i love um like long skirts like this with boots underneath and this would look really cute with that moto jacket over or even the brown leather jacket that I just showed. Love, love the fit of this. It has pockets and I just like love a long skirt moment right now. Okay, this set you guys is so cute. I'm gonna bring this with me on my trip this week. I'm wearing a size four, but it's just a cute maxi skirt. Love like the, this little detail right here. And the top, ignore, I'm wearing a full bra right now just for the sake of the try on, but I would wear like obviously nipple petals with this top because it does have a full open back, but it's so cute. I love a set moment because it just makes you feel like so much more put together and especially like a white set. I love the sleeves on this also, how they kind of flare out and the skirt's just like so perfect, fits so, so well. And this set just has like such a nice like ribbed detailing, it's so cute. Okay, this dress is so cute. I wish I got this in a small. It's a medium. It's from Lioness. And it does not have adjustable straps. Okay, I needed this in a small. This is the cutest dress I have seen in my whole life. <laughs> I want to wear this with like heeled black booties and a leather jacket over it. I need to go back and order this in a small because I love it. It is sheer right here. So you'd have to wear like a bralette underneath probably. But I love like the cream lace mixed with the black. It's just so stunning. I'm so sad this doesn't fit me because I really wanted to wear this in Florida. I love it though. So cute. OMG. Okay, you guys, this dress is so cute. I got this in a size six. It's like a little black mini dress with white, like a white detail at the top. It's off the shoulder. So cute, short. It's a really good length, but this is so would be so cute with like black tights and a pair of black heels with like a pointed toe. If you have like a little event or something in the next couple of months with like a pearl necklace would look really, really cute. Okay, and last but not least, we have this gorgeous little black mini dress. I kind of wish I got it in a size four it is a little bit big up here on the chest area but it's so cute with the flower detailing i love the underwire also on the dress and it's so cute maybe a little bit shortened with some loafers even looks super cute with like a pair of heels love the detailing how it's like has little flowers i'm obsessed okay last but not least we have this cute black guys i'm obsessed cute black little fluffy bucket hat i am like so weird about hats they usually don't fit my head because i have like such a round face and i feel like my head is just like big but this is so cute i'm obsessed with it love and also don't forget to use my discount code i will link all these products down below thank you princess polly for working with me on today's vlog and check out their website check out all these pieces use my code i'll have it all down below in the description hey guys good morning i'm heading out to go to well good afternoon at this point i'm heading out to go to the gym i wanted to show you guys my hair I just put you in my cabinet because I want to show you my hair. I just got it cut. I get so many questions asking like what I do when I cut my hair and I go to John Arago Studios in Boston. John is my hairdresser. She's amazing. Love everybody at that studio. If you live in Boston, definitely go see her or if you're visiting Boston and like want to get your hair done, go to her while you're here because she's amazing. 
and I usually just ask her to do I do a trim and then I get layers and that's what I do and she just like cut a bunch of layers in my hair my hair is nice and healthy ready for my trip on Thursday and I'm really excited but I'm gonna head out and go to the gym right now get a little workout in I also can't wait to be in the sun because I'm so pale it's like scary I got this new workout set though from uh beyond yoga and I really love it it fits so so well I'm obsessed it's like buttery after the gym yesterday because um, I had nothing to vlog and I literally just like cleaned my house well I mean I could have vlogged that but I just honestly didn't vlog and I wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like this start of the new year has been pretty slow and it's always like super hard after vlogmas because I'm filming so much in December and then we have the holidays and everyone's like off for the holidays and then we <laughs> Just like have to get right back into things like the first or second week of the new year and i just feel like it's always so difficult for me i don't know why i feel like maybe because i have so many personal goals going on at the same time like things i'm working on personally and also i like want to do so much with like filming and youtube and tiktok and instagram and all that it's just like a really big planning chunk the first week of the year and I am always just like, I don't know why I'm just like not good at vlogging, but we're going to get back into things. I know this video has been kind of like all over the place. My last video was just like a week in my life and we are just kind of getting back into the swing of things. I just wanted to tell you guys about that, but I do want to go over some of my 2023 goals with you as we get ready. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on because um, I'm heading out. I actually have a bunch of errands that I need to run. So I need to go get my eyebrows done and I wanna get a new phone because my phone is like all cracked. And I swear my, something's wrong with my camera. I have like a crack in my camera. I don't know, it just like makes my photos very weird. So I'm gonna go do that. But I do have just some 2023 goals and resolutions like stuff I want to work on and I have so many for work like it's crazy but I don't want to talk about those just because I like to keep like my work ones a little bit more personal but just to give you guys like an overview I have some campaigns just like dream brand partnerships and um, different events that I want to go to different projects that I want to release and maybe some collaborations that would be like a dream for me also I'm releasing my revolve collection I got the date for the launch which I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you guys the exact date yet I will figure let me ask my manager if I am allowed to tell you guys the date of the launch but I got the date and it's going to be coming out in a couple of months so I'm really excited about that and also I have like a few things that I need to do for the collection like I'm going to be going out to LA and shooting the whole thing and it's just going to be really fun I'm excited because I'm going to bring you guys with me through that whole process and get to show you guys behind the scenes of all of that and I'm very very excited so that's going to be coming we're going to have a launch party which I'm excited about and I'm trying to think of what else I have coming up work related but for some health goals a lot of my goals for the new year were very like health related because I feel like 2022 <laughs> was kind of my year that I started to be a little bit more graceful with myself and in the past like I was always on like a really strict workout routine diet exercise like i was just super super into health and wellness which that's fine but i don't know i feel like it got to the point where it was a little bit like obsessive for me like i just would like go places and i wouldn't like order certain things or eat certain things and now i just feel like my life i'm like very a lot more intuitive 
with myself and if I, like, I want to eat something I will eat it and I feel like my diet's just changed a lot and I also stopped working out as much as I did in 2022 so 2023 I want to get back into that and some of my health goals I want to do detoxifying sauna sessions weekly and I ordered an infrared sauna it should be coming I have to schedule it but I'm going away on Thursday so it's gonna have to come like once I'm back from my trip but I have an infrared sauna that I'm so excited about it's gonna be in my basement so I want to be like do the sauna every single morning and while I do the sauna whether it's for like 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes whatever I want to at least do some reading while I'm in the sauna and then also meditation <laughs> while I'm in the sun I want to get back into meditating journaling and just like giving myself that time in the morning for myself because I feel like I haven't done that in a while and I want to obviously read more meditate more journal more and then what was the other thing I want to do oh drink more water cold showers daily in the morning after sauna I want to take a cold shower use my tongue scraper more because tongue scraping you guys you can get the tongue scraper for like 10 bucks on amazon helps so much with your digestion and keeping you your like mouth healthy you need a tongue scraper i swear by them i've been using one for years and i just recently got a new one so i've been doing that a lot i want to move more so strength training two times per week mixed in with some walks and pilates and i've already been like going to the gym so much more than i have so i'm very proud of myself about that whether I like work out with my trainer or I just go to the gym and I walk on the treadmill and do 12 through 30 and then like a 10 15 20 minute Pilates flow it just like makes me feel so much better and sometimes when I'm like really feeling the Pilates I'll do like a 30 minute to 45 minute full body but it just depends on how I feel three liters of water a day also I want to start eating Brazil nuts because I heard that they're really good for you so I have two Brazil nuts daily I have some in my cabinet and you start eating those Burn more Palo Santo. <laughs> Guys. Palo Santo gets rid of negative energy. It's so crazy. I've been like burning it at night. And it's been making me feel so good. More walks and listening to podcasts. The weather's not that nice right now. But this can be like a goal for spring summer. When it gets nice out. Read more books. Meditate five minutes in the sauna each morning. Live a calm life. And declutter my life. And make room for peacefulness. So those are my goals for 2023, my personal health goals. And I just feel like a lot of those things are just essential for my life because when I do them, they make me feel so good. I also want to add going to bed earlier, like 11, going to bed at like 11. <laughs> Guys, I go to bed at like 12 o'clock right now, like 12.30 and it's not good. But going to bed at like 11 o'clock, no phone 30 minutes before bed, no phone 30 minutes when I wake up in the morning. Those things are like crucial because I used to do those things all the time and I really felt so good. And then I stopped doing them because people would like literally make fun of me and be like, Maggie, you're crazy. Like you need to live a little. And I think I was a little bit like nuts about it, but I don't know. It just made me feel good and I'm excited to start getting back into doing all that. And um, yeah. Also, leave a comment down below a health goal or just like a goal for 2023 that you guys have because I want to read some of your goals for the year if you feel comfortable sharing them. And then in the comments, like maybe we can just like get inspired by each other and like give each other more ideas. So I'm just really excited for the new year and for what's to come. And I just feel very good about it. And I just feel very also disciplined and excited to get into like a consistent routine i just got back i'm in the same spot literally as i was before i left but i got my eyebrows done they look so good and i'm gonna do my makeup i'm gonna try the mary phillips mary phillips method i'm gonna drink a glass of red wine and get ready because i'm going to dinner tonight Graydon's be coming over soon i'm really excited we're going to a restaurant we've never been to before but we've been wanting to try so that's gonna be really fun and also i'm excited to do my makeup this way because i see it all over tiktok and it's just something different and uh, yeah but i 
I'm gonna get ready off camera just because I like have to listen to music or I swear my makeup like doesn't come out the same. Also, I wish that I washed my makeup brushes because, well, actually, some of them are dirty, but I do have a few clean ones. You're supposed to like put your foundation on with a brush. I have a, I think I have a good brush. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Foundation brush. Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup off camera because I need to listen to music. And I normally don't drink red wine when I get ready. I like to have like a drink while I get ready, but hopefully the red wine doesn't like stain my mouth. So, cheers. I will talk to you guys once we are all glammed up. And I'll let you guys know how the makeup turns out. Hi, how are you? We're going to moo. Moo! And I'm waiting on this bitch to find her pants. And we need to be there in five minutes. I'm ready, obviously. You know how it go. You know how it go, you know how it moo. Love you, bye. Hey guys, I really wanna show y'all my outfit because I really like it, but I need to go get my purse. Also, the Uber's been here for like 10 minutes. We have a 15 minute wait, but I feel bad because he's been. We hold this camera for me, I'm gonna show them my outfit. But this is my outfit, you guys. I'm wearing a little black top. Um, one second, actually. We need to go. Hold that thought. We need to go. I was going to tell them what's up. I'm wearing a little cute black top, a long skirt, some boots, bag, jacket. We're going to go to dinner, but you know what? I'll just talk to you guys when we, when we get there. And then I just got done recording so much for the podcast. We did two episodes. I'm really happy with how they came out and I'm excited. We have 2023 goals coming next week and then... What was the other one? Oh, mental health. Hi guys, I am ending off this vlog here. I'm editing it right now. I am back from Florida. The last clip that you guys saw, that was literally the day before I left for Florida. I went to Miami for a week, ended up getting really sick on like my last two days of the trip. And then it came back to Boston, was sick for a few more days, rested up for the weekend, and it's Monday morning now, January 23rd. And I started a new vlog today and I'm getting back into vlogging. I wanted to give you guys an update since I know it's been so long of me not vlogging. I feel like after Vlogmas and like the start of the new year, it's always like gets off to a super slow start for me. I don't know why it's been like that for a few years, but I feel so like inspired and ready to get after it again and like start vlogging. And I'm just excited for what the new year is gonna bring. Also, don't mind my bruised lips. I got lip filler on Saturday. I wasn't even planning on getting it, but I talk about it more in the vlog that you guys are gonna see next, the vlog that I'm filming today. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update to let you know like what has been going on since I am back at it right now. And yeah, I didn't end up vlogging in Miami because I just wanted to like take that time to actually relax and enjoy my trip because I feel like every single trip I've ever been on, I filmed the whole entire thing. And I really just wanted to like disconnect and like not really go on my phone or worry about filming and all that. Plus, I know you guys love Miami vlogs, but I've been there so many times and I kind of just like did stuff that I've already shown and always done. And I stayed at the one hotel and I feel like I have literally every Miami vlog you will ever see from me, it's at the one hotel. I also didn't want it to be like repetitive, but I didn't end up vlogging. And I just want to update you guys, but I love you so much and I've missed you so, so much. I have been getting so many messages from you guys about how you miss my vlogs and miss you on YouTube. And I really appreciate the messages if you sent me one because I miss you guys so much too. And I have been getting so excited. Editing this video like made me so, so excited for the new year and the new vlogs. 
and it's snowing right now and i'm really happy about it it's been like snowing on and off for the past like week since i got back from florida and i just love it and it's just making me so happy okay so i'm gonna end off this video stay tuned for my next vlog i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in a couple of days bye